You know, we are going to start the program today with a pro- problem that uh, a lot of guys probably are not going to talk about much, but boy, I'll, I assure you guys my age think about it, and that is erectile dysfunction. There is a problem for guys over the age of 40, about half of men in that age range suffer ED from some points at some degree, and it just increases with age. I mean, that's why Ciala, Viagra, and all those things are billion-dollar products, right? I mean, the, the problem's just that widespread. But if you don't want to take a medication, there are alternatives, and that's what we're going to focus on today. So as we have this conversation, we are going to be talking about male anatomy, sexual response, and we'll do that in a very clinical way, but it's heads up advice. If uh, that makes you uncomfortable, hey, it's okay. Step away from the radio for a little bit, but I hope you'll stick around because it's an interesting treatment we're going to learn about with Dr. Greg Hogue from ED Clinics of Indiana. Greg, good morning. Good morning. And we're going to be talking about the use of sound waves to treat the source of erectile dysfunction, and that is improving blood flow. So let's start with, uh, with just how sound waves have been used in healthcare and medicine for quite a while. It treats many parts of the body. Yeah. Well, the focus shockwave that what we use um, has been, it was, first it became, at first it started out, the company that, I bought the machine from was the company that originated shattering kidney stones by sound waves. And uh, they noticed that when you would shatter the stones that the kidney itself would heal very quickly. So they, they see this was not invented. The uh, focused shockwave treatment was not invented, it was discovered. It was originally designed to sh- break the shockwave to use for to break the kidney stones. So they uh, kept refining it and refining it and found out that when the blood vessels are hit by the sound waves, that it actually stimulates them, it shocks them, but not in a bad way, in a way that stimulates them to grow. And all of the factors, all of the um, things like stem cells and all of the, um, the permeability of the cells, everything that it takes to make something grow is stimulated by the shock wave. And so you can use it on shoulders, knees, uh, anywhere in the body that you need to have something to heal, um, the shock wave machine works. And someone figured out that it would work on ED because it regenerates the blood vessels in the penis and restores the ability to have an erection. Yeah, so the kidney treatment is called lithotripsy, yeah. and uh, they use a very high intensity in that sound wave. Right. And you're turning the volume way down, right? Yeah. I mean, it's, it, you know, lithotripsy is, uh, it's been around forever. Yep. Yeah. Uh, and you're cranking the volume way down when you're using it to, to regenerate the blood flow. Right. So tell me about, just let's paint a broader picture of who you're treating and, and how they respond and, and and uh, what, what you've experienced clinically. Okay. Well, again, as you said, men over 40 and on up um, will start to experience some. Like they say, in the, if you're 40, 40% of the men will have a trouble. And then at 50, 50%, 60, 60%. So as you get older, um, you get a gen- degeneration of that. I find that um, sometimes there has been an injury Um, Sometimes the injury causes scarring, which brings Peroni's disease, which the machine also, although it will not completely take away the Peroni's, it will make it elastic enough that it doesn't hurt anymore and straighten it out some. But as you age, um, divorce. A man doesn't have sex for a long time, and he's older. That's a perfect storm to bring on ED. So um, a lot of times men will tell me some of these incidences and then other people just notice their performance goes down and they'll start to take uh, Cialis or Viagra or whatever and all of a sudden it'll work less and less and less. Mm -hmm. So these men are the kind of men that that come in and uh, it's kind of neat because almost all of them are married men who just want to be with their wives again. Mm -hmm. And uh, I feel really comfortable with that. it's a, it's a blessing to have that for men to be able to restore that deep intimacy between a man and woman. Um, some of the people that it doesn't seem to work so well is if you're way overweight and you're type 2 diabetic, 
that's going to interfere uh, with the uh, angiogenesis of the blood vessels because your body is degenerating, makes it difficult. Um, some of the literature does say that if you have type 2 diabetes and many men who are in pretty good shape otherwise, that it will work. But, it, it, but then it, it says that after two years, it seems to degenerate again. Um, and then so I guess they would have to, I've told men, I said, if you have this, you want to take a chance and try it. Uh, in a couple of years, you might need to do it again. Um, those sort of people and high blood pressure and heart medications um, will uh, not help at all. So if you get a guy who's overweight with type 2 diabetes, diabetes with cholesterol and high blood pressure, cholesterol is another thing that can clog the arteries in the penis. Yeah. You put that combination together and I, would, I just have to tell them, I said, if you want to do this, you can try it, but um, I cannot guarantee it'll help you. And some men, they, they don't want to do it then and that's fine. It's I don't want anyone to come in and be misled. So we have turned away people and they've decided no. So those who have had treatment, what? how soon do I notice a response and how long does that tend to last? Well, the literature says, of course, that uh, the best response starts at about six weeks to 12 weeks, but I've had all over the map. Generally, it takes six treatments to um, restore a person. I've had people coming in, younger guys, after one or two treatments getting a good response. I had a 42-year-old guy. He came in, it had been about six months since he was able to have an erection and he was getting nervous at that time. And um, he, you know, so he came to me and it took like two treatments and he was ecstatic. But then he went ahead and got all six because, you know, if he thought of all well, of this is starting it. So he took all six and he was back. And the other day, about oh, three weeks ago, he said, I was driving through and I saw your office and I just wanted to stop and tell you how grateful I am and how much my wife and I appreciated what has happened. Oh, that's great. Yeah. So the younger they are, the quicker the response. Um, generally speaking, an older person, will it'll take longer, of course. I've had a few, I had a guy, 67 years old, smoker. I thought, wow. I said, I don't think it's going to help him. And I told him, I said, well, we're just going to have to try if you want to. And he did, and it worked for him And and it, after three treatments. But generally, generally, I tell people, I said, don't expect to feel anything right away. If you do, that's a bonus. But if you don't, don't worry. It's still working because right. it heals. It just plain heals tissue. Welcome back to the program. We are talking this half hour with Dr. Greg Hogue from ED Clinics of Indiana. You can find them online at edclinicsofindiana.com. And we're talking about a treatment for erectile dysfunction using sound waves instead of medications to give a long-lasting treatment. Uh, permanent fix to the problem of erectile dysfunction. So, Dr. Hogue, walk me through what that process is. When I come for treatment, what actually happens? Okay. Well, when a person comes in for a treatment, they'll, uh, I leave the room, and they disrobe from the waist down, and they'll be laying on a, on, a, on a towel, and then I give them another towel. And so, then they open the door just to crack, so I know that they're ready, and then they can lay down and cover themselves up. Um, you, it's to make them feel comfortable. And then uh, I knock on the door and say, are you ready? And, and yes, and I come in. Now, when you use the machine, the only thing that touches you is the machine itself. Physically, I do not touch the person. The person themselves moves their genital organs around where we need to have them. And so we start out. And we, and we go down underneath the scrotum where the blood vessels uh, deep inside of you are, are necessary to get stimulated, clear into the prostate. I've had three or four guys tell me that after the series of treatments that they can actually urinate better because um, it, it helps to shrink the prostate. Well, I can't guarantee that, but that is a side, that's a good side effect. Sure. And then... Um, we do underneath the scrotum on either side, and then at the base of the penis, at the tip of the penis, like if you're looking at a clock as a penis, and you were standing at six o'clock around 1.30 or two, on either, and then like nine on the other side or around in there. And then the final thing is they lay the penis down straight, and we do the whole side of it, like six o'clock on a clock the whole backside all the way down. And, and so you have a new protocol that you're using based on some research out of Germany. Tell yeah. me more about how that's different. 
Well, okay, the the people who invented the machine, it's it's the machine is made in Switzerland, and it is a it's called Storz Medical. They're, they are the people who invented uh, lithotripsy. Mm-hmm. So the same company uh, has the machine, and it's not just a, a for the penis. It's for any type of of blood vessel restoration. Somebody figured this out that it would do this, uh, would restore ED, and so. Um, not a lot of people are willing to tell what they do. Uh, when I first got into this, I asked the people out in uh, Utah. On the east and west coast, there are a lot of these people that do this. In in the Midwest, as of this point, there may be more. But when I started, there were two of us in the state. Now, I believe there are three. And who knows? Or I'm sure people are going to eventually do this more. But... Um, so there's not a lot of information. You have to dig and dig and dig. And I finally got a hold of the people that's of the doctor that the Stortz Medical Company hired to just make the protocol. And so when you go into the prostate, the new protocol that is much more effective, like in a stereo, if you if you have somebody driving by and you hear the bass frequencies, bass frequencies are low and they travel a long way. Oh yeah, some of those guys with the bumping stereos, you hear that sound right a block before the car gets to you. So that same concept, those low frequencies travel a lot further into the body. Yeah. So you use you use two hertz under the scrotum, so it penetrates deep into the prostate and it and it goes two to three inches in underneath into the person's body, and you do that on either side. At a low frequency, at a th- a 0.3 uh, joules, 30 joules, and then when you come up to the penis itself on either side, you only want that, and you don't need it. Go two or three inches to focus. See, it's called focused shock wave. Mm-hmm. So you want it to focus in exact right into the penis, and so you lower, you raise the frequency to six hertz and then that doesn't go as far but it's very strong and then you uh, lower the power to 0.12 joules and so that's what you do on the penis and so it gets deep when it needs to and it gets focused into the penis where it needs to and do i feel anything i mean it sounds kind of scary a Mm -hmm. little bit here well (laughs) when you when you use it underneath the scrotum you will feel a vibration, and no one has ever said they felt anything more than they. I say, what do you feel? Well, I can tell something's happening. I can feel it. It's kind of deep in there. I I feel that, and then up on the penis itself, sometimes people will feel a little prickly feeling. What's kind of neat is sometimes on the first treatment or two, people won't feel anything, but after maybe about the third treatment, I've had people say, yeah, I, I can feel that now, hmm. because as as it restores the nerves and everything comes back, everything that can be to regrow, the sound waves will stimulate. And so again, you'll feel a little prickly feeling. And that's the whole concept here is the, your, the sound waves are creating micro trauma yes. to the tissue mm-hmm. and then your body kind of that switches on the healing process so yes. that you're actually increasing blood flow and you know the whole erection mechanism is, is it's a hydraulic action right? right. So the blood clump comes into the spongy tissue Yes. and so if you don't have enough of that inward blood flow you're just not going to get the erection that you right. want to have or the outward outward blood flow to to maintain mm-hmm. the erection so tell me about the cost of this treatment okay the treatment is six treatments for thirty two hundred dollars and um it's more on the east and west coast so i've got i've fallen right in the middle mm-hmm. and um then some people if they want maintenance treatments um it's less uh, right now, it's about three hundred dollars after you've had your first six. So, how long is the effect of? If I see improvement, how long does that typically last? Well, the, that is is here's what people have to understand. Many times, as we get older, we don't take care of ourselves. We don't exercise. Um, our muscles degenerate. That's part of this process. It's not like a helpless thing, and so. As you get older, if you get the treatment and you don't do much, okay, when you, when you get the treatment, the best prescription for long-lasting erections is to use the penis to have uh, in, intercourse with your wife mm-hmm. to stimulate the uh, retention of the blood vessels. If you don't use them, they're going to degenerate. So if you get the treatment and you don't and you don't have much sex 
and you don't and you don't use it, it's it's going to go back down. But the, the idea is you have to maintain yourself. Is there? Do I still need to use Cialis or one of those uh, Viagra type of drugs? Well, one thing I do recommend, especially for older men, is to get five milligram of Cialis. Cialis is uh, at five milligrams. It won't sustain an erection necessarily, but what it'll do, it'll dilate the capillaries and and the the tiny blood vessels in the mm-hmm. penis and it's like if you have two young boys one young boy he, he exercises he plays baseball basketball maybe runs track and another kid sits and plays on a computer when those boys grow up who is going to be stronger the one who is more stimulated to his body so I recommend as men get older to take five milligrams of Cialis while we're doing the treatment because it stimulates the blood vessels and then after the treatment I would say continue for three months because it's going to be even up to three months, they're going to see results, and once they have us, and once these results are, are finalized, then they can step away from it. Now, I will have to say, we we say no drugs, but for some people, as they get older, uh, taking five milligrams a day will help an older man to uh, continue to see uh, a good erection and uh, help sustain that. Okay. So it's not totally drug free for some. For some, okay. And you've treated men as young as their 30s. We're seeing erectile dysfunction yes. start mm-hmm. that earlier for yeah. some guys. Mm-hmm. And do they respond faster and better? Yes. Um, most of the younger men, they start to lose their erection, and maybe six months into it, they get scared and they want to do something. Mm-hmm. And a guy 36 years old, uh, yeah. it took him three treatments, and uh, he was back again. Um, and guys in their 40s, sometimes it doesn't even take six treatments. But I would recommend all six because the long haul is what makes you, you know, people even at six treatments will say, well, it works, but not as good as I'd like it to yet. Well, the treatment will continue. Once the blood vessels are stimulated, it continues up to three months of growth mm-hmm. to fully uh, get everything out of it that you're going to get. And as that tissue heals. And that's yes. the same thing you see when when this sound wave therapy is used in plantar fasciitis or mm-hmm. tendonitis or those types of orthopedic yes. injuries. Yes. It's that same process that mm-hmm. takes the same amount of time. It's regrowth. Yeah. And one thing about, okay, an example would be when you go to the gym and you exercise your bicep, that puts stress on the muscle that, mm-hmm. tra- that traumatizes it. So what does it do? But it's not just the muscle. If you see in these magazines, you see guys, they have these giant blood vessels that look like like mm-hmm. garden hoses. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Not only does the stimulation of that exercise rebuild the muscle, it rebuilds the blood vessels, it rebuilds the bone. Everything grows from that stress. And the machine, uh, the sound waves, reproduce that same stress that makes the it's going to make everything grow back again so there's the concept behind acoustic wave therapy for erectile dysfunction that's dr greg hogue from ed clinics of indiana you can find them online at edclinicsofindiana.com greg thank you for coming in interesting topic thank you